Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So the Gunslingers video series are actually completed, but I received message from you guys asking about the Gunslinger gold weapon effect. Looks like some of you are interested for a job change and considering to use the Gunslinger gold weapon. Either way, if you are just curious about the gold weapon effect in this video, I am going to show you all of the Gunslinger gold weapons effect. So if you had watched my previous video on the Gunslinger types of weapons, then you will know that the gunslinger can wield dual weapon, the rifle and the gun. The rifle is a main hand weapon category just like the one-handed sword and the gun is an off-hand weapon category which is similar to the shield. And every rifle and gun are further separate into two types, automatic rifle and sniper rifle for the main hand weapon and pistol or shotgun for the off-hand weapon. Now because every weapon have its own name, it will be hard to remember all of their names. So to make it easier to remember, I will refer the weapon according to the MVP name that it dropped from. And also because I will be covering all four types of these weapons, that will be a lot. So I'm going to show you part by part to avoid confusion. Let's start with the automatic rifle first. The first goal weapon is a drop from the MVP Kraken. Each normal attack as a stack of array effect to the teammates within 5 meters. Each layer will increase the final physical damage bonus by 1%, stack up to 5 times, last 3 seconds. Next, gold weapon drop from the MVP Org Lord. Each normal attack applies a stack of matrix shield to all teammates within 5 meters. Each stack will reduce the damage received by the owner by 1%, last for 3 seconds, stack up to 4 times. Each time the owner of the metric shield receive damage, he will consume the shield to deal adaptive damage of the owner's 15% adaptive attack to enemies within 4 meters. The damage can be crit. So if you play Mobile Legends, Mobile Legends recently add this stat adaptive damage. What it means by adaptive damage is the damage follows your job class nature. For example, if you are a knight, you will deal physical damage. If you are a wizard, you will deal magic damage instead. Next, gold weapon dropped by the MVP Amon Ra. Non-attribute enhancement is increased by 18%. When normal attack shoots the target with the bleeding effect, it will deal an additional 0.25% of the target's maximum HP as true damage. If it is a MVP or mini boss, deal directly a 30% non-attribute physical damage. The damage can crit. Next, gold weapon drops by MVP Morag. Basic attack has a 10% chance to ignore the target's defense and remove one negative status for every 3 seconds. Removing status effect every 3 seconds is quite a good effect for PvP. Next, gold weapon drops by MVP Tao Gunka. Normal attack has a 25% chance of auto fill one bullet for each critical attack and increases the damage of the next bullet by 100% last 5 seconds. Next, gold weapon drops by MVP Fallen Bishop. After switching guns, the first basic attack within 6 seconds will cause a bounce effect to the enemy. Bounce 7 times and each bounce will cause physical damage equal to 580% physical damage. This damage can crit and can be triggered every 6 seconds. Usually we have the splash effect. Now we have a new one, bounce effect. Next gold weapon drops by the Juno map MVP Arch Angeling. Normal attack deals additional 360% ghost attribute physical damage which can be crit and causes the target to enter a mind piercing bleeding effect which deals 72% ghost attribute physical damage per second lasts for 3 seconds. The effect can be triggered once every 6 seconds. When refine level plus 5 or above, each refining will ignore the target's bleed resistance by 10%. So, so far, I don't see any weapon effect that is specific to PvP like the other existing goal weapons, which is good. Now players have more options to choose from for any situations in the game, not just for PvP. Alright, that's it for the gold weapon automatic rifle. Let's look at the gold weapon sniper rifle. The first one, gold weapon dropped by the MVP Edgar. After casting any skills, increase normal damage by 
by 2%, stack up to 5 times and last for 5 seconds. This is rather contradicting, I mean casting skill to gain increased damage effect for normal attack. It is unheard of for ROX so far in the game, but I think my longbow penetration build might can utilize this effect if I were to switch to the gunslinger. Next gold weapon drops by the MVP Pharaoh when receiving damage, if the source of the damage is within 4 meters of the user, the target's final physical damage bonus will be reduced by 15% and your final physical damage bonus will be increased by 15%. Last 3 seconds, triggers once every 6 seconds. Next gold weapon drop by doppelganger, increase fire attribute enhancement by 18%. When shooting a burning target with a normal attack, it will cause a splash effect, dealing 70% additional fire attribute physical damage to all enemies, including the target within 4 meters. Wow, does this mean that the gunslinger can be played as a fire element drop class as well with this weapon? Next gold weapon drops by the MVP Overseer of Time. After entering the battle, if the position does not change within 3 seconds, you will get the diving effect. Your final physical damage bonus will be increased by 60% and the effect will be cancelled after the position is changed and gain 2 movement speed for 3 seconds. Next gold weapon drops by the MVP Lord of the Dead. Increases the damage done to targets that are more than 8 meters away from you by 58%. This looks useful for MVP Hunt. Next gold weapon drops by the MVP Lost Dragon. When the skill hits, there is a probability that that scale with luck to add one bullet. The next normal attack ignores the target's 40% final physical damage reduction and final anti-crit lasts for 3 seconds. And lastly, the gold weapon drops by the Juno map MVP Gioia. When the skill deals damage, it will ignite the target for 6 seconds, causing 40% fire attribute physical damage per second and tag effect once every 12 seconds. When refine level plus 5 or above, each refining will increase the negative effect penetration start by 5 points. From the looks of it, based on the weapon effect, the automatic rifle seems to more to the ghost attribute damage and the sniper rifle is more to fire attribute. Anyway, that is for the main hand weapon. Let's move on to the off hand weapon, the guns. Let's start with the pistol. The first one, gold pistol drops by the MVP mistress. Every time dealing damage, it didn't say here normal attack or skill damage. The final physical physical damage bonus will be increased by 1%, lasts for 3 seconds, stack up to 5 times, so 5% in total. Now it also did not specify here if the effect is triggered by only when the pistol deal damage, so I guess this effect can be triggered in general whether you are using the rifle to attack but also equipping the pistol at the same time. If so, then the gunslinger may get both weapon effect for rifle and also the gun when equipping two weapons at the same time. This gives you more options to choose from to mix and match the weapon effects that you desire. I guess equipping the gold weapon for gunslinger will give more benefit. Next gold pistol drops by the MVP Maya. Each critical attack has a 20% chance to gain 1 stack of physical damage resistance effect. 1 stack of physical damage resistance effect stack up to 5 times. Every time 1 stack of resistance effect is consumed, physical damage is increased by 3%, last 5 seconds stack up to 3 times. So you have 5 stacks but you can only get the effect at most 3 times. Uh, the other 2 stacks are just for stock, seems like it. And how the effect is consumed, it does not explain it here. Maybe when you receive damage and the effect will be consumed. Next gold pistol drops by the MVP Amon Ra. Increase ghost attribute enhancement by 18% and when dealing damage to a bleeding enemy, reduces the target's final crit by 18% and increase its fixed channeling time by 0.6 seconds and fixed cooldown time by 3 seconds. Last for 3 seconds. Paired with the rifle, does this add the ghost attribute damage? If it does, then the ghost attribute damage will add up to 36%. Next gold pistol drops by the MVP Morok. After entering the battle, gain 1 stack of ghosted effect every second. Stacks up to 30 times. 
times, each stack increases 0.05 movement speed and physical damage by 1%, and every time it takes damage, it reduces 1 stack. That is a total of 1.5 points of movement speed at maximum stack. Next, Gold Pistol drops by the MVP Tau Gunka. When the pistol basic attack deals damage, if there is only one enemy target within 7 meters, the damage will be increased by a whopping 1200% and refills all of the pistol bullets, triggers once every 3 seconds. That is an insane damage. And here it did specify the damage from the pistol basic attack, so the rifle can't benefit from this effect. Next, gold pistol drops by the MVP Fallen Bishop, gain a stack of cowboy effect after each normal critical attack, gain a stack of cowboy effect after each normal critical attack, last for 3 seconds, stack up to 10 times. Each stack increases the skill damage by 8%. Reloading will consume all stacks. See, now we have an effect that is triggered by normal attack but increases the skill damage. It is unique but also out of the place at the same time. And lastly, for gold weapon pistol, drops by the genome map MVP Arch Angeling. Normal attack deals an additional 25% non attribute physical damage, can be crit, and has a 5% chance to cause the target to bleed, dealing 20% non attribute physical damage per second, lasts for 6 seconds. For refined level plus 5 or more, each refining level will additionally ignore the target's 10% bleeding resistance. Alright, that is for the pistol. Let's look at the shotgun gold weapon effect. The first one, we have gold shotgun drops by the MVP Frioni. Gain a stack of courage effect every time you deal damage, lasts for 1.5 seconds, trigger 1 stack per second. When courage reaches 3 stacks, increase final physical damage bonus and lifesteal by 13%. Oh, I think this is a good one. I know everyone want the lifesteal stat, especially in PvP. Next, gold shotgun drops by the MVP Orc Hero. For every 10% HP decrease, final physical damage bonus and final physical damage reduction is increased by 2%. Last 10 seconds, stack up to 5 times. Next, gold shotgun drops by the MVP Doppelganger. Increase fire attribute enhancement by 18%. Dealing normal damage to ignited target, deal additional 130% fire attribute damage. The damage can be crit. Next, gold shotgun drops by the MVP Overseer of Time. When normal attack hits an enemy within 2 meters, add a phantom effect, increase movement speed by 2 points and immune to slow effect, last 3 seconds and trigger once every 6 seconds. After the effect ends, the first normal attack damage is increased by 100%. Effect lasts for 6 seconds. Maybe this will be good in PvP because of the short range 2 meters. Next, gold shotgun drops by the MVP Lost Dragon. Every time the target is successfully killed, the next basic attack will deal an additional 750% non-attribute physical damage to the next target and does not consume bullets, lasts for 3 seconds, can be triggered once per second. I think this is good for AFK grinding because with faster kill means you can trigger the effect often. Next, gold shotgun drop by the MVP Lord of the Dead. Increases the damage done to the targets less than 2 meters away from you by 54%. And lastly, gold shotgun drops by the Juno map MVP Gioia. Normal attack deals an additional 25% fire attribute physical damage, can be crit, and has a 5% chance to ignite the target, causing 20% fire attribute physical damage every second, lasts for 6 seconds. At refine level plus 5 or above, each refining will increase the negative effect penetration by 5 points. Alright, that's all of the Gunslinger gold weapons. Which gold weapon combinations that you think are the best? Please let me know at the comment section below. That's it for this video. This time video shoutout goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.